So you might have noticed in the past that if you go to the Simple Planes website and look at the most upvoted aircraft, most of them have a really fancy custom thumbnail. And if you're anything like me, at some point you'll probably have questioned, how the... So let's imagine that you have a vehicle that you want to upload to the Simple Planes website. First things first, let's go take a screenshot. Once you get your vehicle into position that you're happy with, you can press the P button on your keyboard to pause the game. Once the game is paused, you can use the right mouse button to move the camera independently of your vehicle, allowing you to get the perfect perspective for your screenshot. By changing the FOV, you can make your image look even better. To do this, all you need to do is copy and paste the command line at the top of the description into the dev console, and you'll see that your perspective changes. Just so you know, you can change the FOV to whatever you want by changing the 30 to any number you like. 60 is the default value, but you can go higher or lower depending on what you like. By the way, for those who don't know, you can change the in-game time to move around the position of the sun. This helps in giving your image the right lighting. Once you've finalized your scene and your camera position, it's time to take the screenshot. Pressing F9 will hide the heads-up display, and then I personally use Snip and Sketch to take the screenshot. It is important that you save the screenshot somewhere on your computer. If you'd like, you could already use this screenshot as is. But if you want to create an even fancier thumbnail, then might I suggest using GIMP, Photoshop, or any other image manipulation software to really make your screenshot stand out from the crowd. Okay, now that we've got our screenshot, we can set it as our custom thumbnail. To do this, open the blueprints menu within the designer and then press side, top, or front, after which a open image button will appear. Through this open image button, we can open our screenshot and overlay it on top of our vehicle. Then on the left side, there's this icon showing arrows pointing in four directions. And if we left click on that, we can now move our image around with our left mouse button. Now we can proceed with actually uploading our aircraft to the Simple Plans website. To do this, just like normal, open the share menu and then take a screenshot. But instead of taking a screenshot of the vehicle itself, you can take a screenshot of your screenshot. And then you'll see that the screenshot that you took now shows up as your primary image of your creation. In other words, when you now upload this creation to the Simple Planes website, this screenshot will show up as your thumbnail. Now, for those who'd like to obtain even more style points, there's one more trick I'd like to show you. As you can see here, instead of having just a single custom screenshot, all three of the screenshots I have are custom. To do this, all we need to do is take advantage of the multiple angles within the blueprint menu. Basically, what we can do is just like before, open a blueprint for every single side of the vehicle, so for top, side, and front. And then whilst we're taking the screenshots to share our creation, we can very carefully align the camera with our vehicle. If we do this perfectly into where we match up exactly with the side, front, or top of the vehicle, we can then see that one of the screenshots that we loaded up has popped into view, and we can then take another screenshot of this screenshot. And then for the third image, you can just repeat this process once more. And with that, you've created the simpleplans.com post, which has three custom thumbnails. There you go, one step closer to getting more dopamine points from people upvoting your creations. Speaking of dopamine, why don't you give me some more by clicking that nice red subscribe button. Goodbye, people. Take care.